Hi, welcome to my new video of Django How To Series. In this video, we'll learn about middleware in Django, why to use them, how it works and how to create custom middleware in Django. So, let's dive in to explore about the middlewares. Before starting the video, if you are new here, please subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon to receive every new video updates. Also do check out other videos on our channel, I will attach link in description. A middleware is something which acts as a bridge between two parts of a program or the system that enables communication between them. In technical terms, middleware is a framework of hooks into Django's request response processing. It's a light, low-level plugin system for globally altering Django's input or output. Each middleware component is responsible for doing some specific function. Let's learn about the middleware working. When a user makes a request from your application, a WSGI handler is instantiated, which handles the following things. Imports project settings.py file and Django exception classes. Loads all the middleware classes which are written in middleware tuple located in settings.py file. Builds list of methods which handle processing of request, view, response, and exception. Loops through the request methods in order. Resolves the requested URL. Loops through each of the view processing methods. Calls the view function. Processes exception methods. Loops through each of the response methods in the reverse order from request middleware. Builds a return value and makes a call to the callback function. What are the types of middleware? There are two types of middleware in Django. Built-in middleware. Custom middleware. First, discuss about the built-in middleware first. Built-in middleware are provided by default in Django when you create your project. You can check the default middleware in settings.py file of your project. Custom middleware, you can write your own middleware which can be used throughout your project. Let's see how we can do that. How to write a custom middleware in Django. Create a Python package named as middleware. Create a file named custom middleware.py or anything which you like and a regular Python function class in it. You can write middleware as a function or as a class whose instances are callable. Now, I am going to show you code snippet of function based in class based middlewares. Do not forget to add any custom middleware in middleware list in settings file. But, you must wonder about the functions using in class based middleware. Do not worry, I will explain it. Further, let's understand the special methods of class based middleware. Process request, the request object will be created while Django goes through process request method in each middleware. After that, it resolves which view to be called soon after the request object is created with the help of root URL conf key in settings file. Process view, request is the HTTP request object and view func is the function that is being called. It will be called just before calling the view. Process response, the response will be the final output Django will process after executing the process response method in each middleware, which will be HTTP response object. Process template response, request is an HTTP request object. Response is the template response object returned by a Django view or by a middleware. Process exception, request is an HTTP request object. Exception is an exception object raised by the view function. This method is called when the view raises an exception. Things to remember while working with middlewares. Order of middleware is important. A middleware only need to extend from class object. A middleware is free to implement some of the methods and not implement other methods. A middleware may implement process request but may not implement process response and process view. So, for now we have learned briefly about the middlewares in Django and it's working. A quick exercise for your learning. Write a middleware to log every request and response of your Django APIs. Write this middleware and you can use either function-based or class-based middleware. 
You guys have any question in your mind? Do not hesitate to ask your queries in comments section. I will try to answer each of your queries. Also do check out my other different videos. Stay tuned for upcoming videos. Until the next time goodbye.